What's going on, guys? Welcome back into Rover Sports. Um, hope everybody's having a really nice Friday, a really nice post-round one uh, day and experience. I thought last night was a heck of a draft with Baker going number one, Sam Darnold to the Jets. And really, with the Bucks trading out, the Niners had their choice of the litter. You, you, the only guy that they didn't have was Roquan Smith, but you had Tremaine Edmonds on the board. You had Dalvin, uh, you, not Dalvin, Derwin James on the board, Minka Fitzpatrick. So you had some great defensive players and talent to choose from. You even had you know, a couple of corners that were left, but I think the next corner to go might have been Jair Alexander. So... The San Francisco 49ers had their, their choice of a litter. They picked Mike McClinchy out of um, out of Notre Dame. I'll tell you what I think about this pick. Um, I like it. Uh, I, I, Jimmy G's going to have a guy that he can now be a good friend of for a long time. Joe Staley's replacement there at left tackle. It's a very important position. Guy's a leader on the field, clean on the field. John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan type of guy with the Reuben Foster, with everything going on with him. They wanted to get this a safe pick. It wasn't the sexiest of picks. I would have liked Derwin James, Minka Fitzpatrick, or Tremaine Edmonds. That pick would have even resonated with the fan base more. When Mike McClinchy was announced, I was... I, I was pretty stunned, and it, and it was mostly out of a little bit of confusion at the time of the pick. I didn't see them going tackle, but but now that you think about it, I mean, McClinchy's a guy that I think is going to play for a long time. I don't think it's a terrible pick by any means, and you know what? It's hard to decipher if players are terrible picks. I mean, everybody at this level has upsides. Some players are taken too high. The Cleveland Browns should have traded back to number to, to number 12 because Denzel Ward would have probably been there at 12. So for some the, that pick was way too high. Colden Miller, the good news for Niners fans is that you took the funder right out of Oakland. I mean, you had to be happy that Oakland and Reggie McKenzie panicked. They tried to find a trade partner. They went back to 15. They took a they took the next tackle available too high, which was Colden Miller. So you look at everything the Niners did. They took the Raiders pick. It's a guy that, again, is a great football mind. He doesn't have the highest upside at tackle, but he doesn't do anything poorly. I mean, this guy could come in. He could play right tackle, and then he'll move to left tackle. So, uh, listen, the pick is totally fine. It's a very solid pick. And with the Niners and Reuben Foster, they wanted stability. It's very similar to the Solomon Thomas pick. If you look at these two guys, leaders on the field, th this was a pick that really the off-the-field stuff really, I think, factored in and this is a guy that again has a high upside it's also giving trust to the secondary uh, I think John Lynch likes how Colbert is coming along likes Jakarski Tart and uh, we'll have to see with the Ruben situation you know if, if we're going to see if the if the judge is going to say some things about Ruben Foster that are very different than the reports coming out but overall, I thought it was a solid pick. I, I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was bad whatsoever. It's going to be hard to have qualms with Quint, with Quentin Nelson or um, ha, Mike McClinchy being selected. And uh, of course, the the defensive players would have been a sexier, splashier pick. A lot of people were left kind of just a little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's a line. It's a lineman. I get it. But uh, the more you think about it, Jimmy G's now going to have a companion there at left tackle. And now if Joe Staley suddenly retired, kind of like Joe Thomas, you would be left and completely left in dire situation uh, at, the, at a really important position on the football field, which is tackle. So you take care of that. You give yourself flexibility. The Weston Richburg signing also. So I, I, I didn't mind it. I didn't mind the pick. I didn't mind the pick at all. I think, I think that McClinchy will be solid. Uh, I like everything I see on tape of Mike McClinchy. And I think that uh, I think that Niners fans should be feeling decent. I really do. I think it's going to be a decent pick. And uh, I'm totally fine with Mike McClinchy.